the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. I don't want to drag the mood down too low here because I know that we're a classy type of show here. And if you're talking about Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie on social media, use the hashtag Smart Funny. Um, yeah. what, what's happened? <laughs> smart oh. Funny. It's not. <laughs> so I don't gonna, think that. I've, I've seen plenty so, of other hashtags. Yes. <laughs> I mean, about us as individuals That's and as a group. Yeah, it's really different. <laughs> Well, get um, them off air. It took me ages to come up with. Yeah, but it hasn't <laughs> taken off, unfortunately. <laughs> get me off. So, anyway, I got home yesterday. The door was ajar. Like I said, someone was in the house. Oh. I didn't know who it was. Well, just open or ajar? No, just ajar. Just slightly open. Okay. And, um, and were yeah. you expecting there to be an empty house? I was expecting Lisa to be home. Oh, okay. Lisa then came running towards me and said, I've got to go. Um, she was late for she was late for an event, so she ran out the door and I was left. I walked inside. There's a bloke by the name of Steve, who had come round to fix the oven because it wasn't working. I said, hey, Steve, how are you, mate? And I said, Steve. He goes, Oh, not bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I said, Can you fix it, Steve? And he said, Yeah, I think I can. I said, All right, Would you need anything from me? Do you want a glass of water, Steve, or you want a muesli bar or anything, mate? And he said, nah, fine, mate, fine, all good, just leave me here. I said, okay, well, you do your thing, and I'm just going to go and sit in the front room and do a little bit of work, all right? But yell out if you need anything. Which was a lie, I'm guessing. You were just, you did the, do you want a a glass of of water and all that? Oh, I'm a really good guy, the guy from the radio, but all you wanted to do was go and have a sit down. That's not true, It is. I then fell asleep at my laptop. Anyway, then I heard this yelling, hey, mate, hey, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, Steve. Oh, yeah. you, mate, now. Oh, Steve. Yes, Steve. Hey, buddy. Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Oh, of course, Steve. It's just there, mate. God, you don't need to ask me. Help yourself. Anyway. Well, I think it's nice that he asks. Yeah, that but is Some nice. tradies just go in there and... It was mm. really nice that he asked. Oh. What Steve did oh, no. to our bathroom <laughs> was like nothing I've ever come across or experience. It was. Was there on evidence a afterwards? Chernobyl scale. Oh, was there evidence? No, you have three children too. Imagine what they've done to the oh, bathroom. They kill, it. they kill it all the time. But not only did well, I uh, realise when I when I wandered off and Steve went into the bathroom and I oh, okay, well no doubt he's doing a quick wee. Steve was in there for a solid ten to fifteen. <sighs> And I thought, what sort of murderous behaviour is going on? <laughs> well, maybe he was catching up on emails. To that, no, 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 not on the job, not what, on the job. What is the etiquette for that? For a, tra- well, what's the tradies etiquette? Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. It's a great question, Fitz, because I said to Lisa, like. He shut the door, right? So when he'd finished the door... Well, that's good, because if you left the door no, open, no, no, that no, would have been even worse. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going, trying to continue the conversation yeah, with mate. his mate in the front room. I After think you might get a couple of things on the <laughs> oven uh, might have to get fixed. So Steve, shut the door, Steve. So Steve had shut the door, but it was... You know, had he we, flicked the fan on? We don't have a fan in there. Oh, no. We don't really use this bathroom too much. Oh, it's a powder what? room. It's a powder room. It's you the downstairs toilet. You still have a fan, it's, don't it's, you? No one really poos in this one. But every toilet should have a... Every bathroom should have well, some I kind so of is this fan because it's so usually this is an internal bathroom. room. No, it's a 15th. <laughs> The 15th powder room. So I just assumed, because it was such a small off-the-kitchen type room, yeah. that Steve was just doing a, a wee, right? He's just doing a number one. Do you have someone... Uh, do you have a toilet off the kitchen? Yeah. Mm. Near the laundry. You've been to that toilet. Have I? Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. That's yeah, a powder it, room. Oh, it's not. When you say off the kitchen, it's not. You know, sometimes people do have an actual toilet where the door That's opens weird. into. Yeah. Like, what the butler's pantry? No. Yeah. Like it's almost mm. so. So close. It's, it's so on the kitchen. close. No, what? yours isn't right. There. So, um, by the time Steve had finished fixing the oven, yeah. and I'm by fixing the oven, I actually mean fixing the oven, <laughs> not removing his oven. Um, it was sort of a half an hour later. Okay. So then I signed off on things, and Steve, good on you, mate. Thanks very much. Glad it's working. See you later. The door remained closed. I just wasn't brave enough to go anywhere near it. Well, yeah, let it settle for a bit, at least. But it can't escape anywhere. That's exactly right. No, Three hours later, yeah. I thought, you know what? I'll just swing the door open for the sake that we need to get some ventilation. There needs to be something outside of Steve's stench enter that small area. Did you do it with the broom handle or it something w- at a distance? It, it was <laughs> Steve's finest. Oh, come on. So Maybe he had a tummy ache. By the Steve Steve was there at one AM. He sorry, was preparing something in that oven, was he? By the time we sat down for dinner at five thirty, mm. Steve's work was still carrying. No, 
living room. Living room. Wow, the roast was ready. <laughs> he, yeah, now you're yeah. putting a little bit of extra mayo in the oven for that one. A hazardous disaster st- the s- s- zone that he's left us with. Oh, give me now, a break. Kate, I'm it. just going to say this. Kate, you cannot poo in someone else's house. Not like this. <laughs> you can't Not do like it. this. You and can. Steve, if you you're can. not... You can't. If I, Steve's on the way to a job, right... When you say job, yeah, when you Steve's mean, on the way to fix okay. an oven, right? Yep. You must have an idea the tank's almost full, Steve. So drop into a McDonald's, drop into a servo, drop into a park, no, drop in somewhere. You yeah. can't a McDonald's. Oh, no Mc- way. Absolutely, you'd ru- do it at McDonald's. Have great toilets. Don't do it at Whipper's house. Oh, give me a and break. also, I drop think it with off, gr- Steve. Grown men, I have a feeling. Even if not just on that day, does he know one o'clock is two o'clock? Yeah. He he. Men like that who have jobs like that, and I'm generalising here, mm-hmm. and maybe all the men in this room as well. Be, be you know when poo o'clock is yeah, you, every you know. day. Like Tommy, yeah, five twenty in the morning. No. Tom Ivy goes missing. Yeah, but so you don't. You just said you don't even use that toilet. So let Steve have it. For, no, no, no. We use it oh, for, for yes. number one. You, you said you don't use for it for number hardly, ones. I said we use it. Yeah, but you hardly no use it. No one poos in it because it's so accessible to the living but areas. Steve doesn't know the rules of the house. Well, Steve should have said to me, "Do you have another bathroom? Do you have an outside toilet? Yeah, do you have something a little bit distant from where I'm working right now, around where you?" You prepare your food at all, and I would have said, "Scuba, head downstairs, mate, and go for your life." Yeah, there's, an, there's an amp pole, five hundred. We just got a text from Steve here as well. He said he put, he put an extra hundred bucks on the on the bill too. Oh so well done, God, Steve. God, I need a new toilet, Steve. Can you recommend the plumber? Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.